Hey, how's it going? As you might be able to tell, you are in my messy workshop today, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video from what I usually do. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, garage door opener I put together. Um, for a while I've been looking for a garage door opener that I could integrate into my smart home, and I really just couldn't find a solution on the consumer market that, that really suited all, all my wants and needs at a very good price point. So I, I looked at things like the Chamberlain MyQ, and it seemed to do the job in, in being a garage door opener slash state detection system, but I found it wasn't very extensible in terms of, I couldn't hook it up to my MQTT system very easily out of the box. And the price point was just a little bit too high. At around $230 Canadian, it was a bit much for something that just opens a garage door, especially when, you know, when the system of opening a garage door is, is as easy as, as pressing a button or, or bridging a couple of, of wires. So I put together a system uh, in two parts. It's, it's got a, a sensor module that actually detects if the garage door is open or closed, and I've got a control module that's based on a, a, a Wemos D1 ESP8266 chip. So I'm going to quickly walk you through these in this video, and then in the next video I will go over some of the more fine-tuned portions of it, like the, the software and programming I did. And um, I know this is very different for this channel, uh, but I wanted to kind of get into this space because this is also a big part of the home automation space when it comes to solving issues that you might have that are unique to your home or maybe don't have a commercial solution that, that suits your needs. So it's really a low cost um, hobby, I guess you could say, if you get into making your own smart home, home devices. It's usually, you know, five or six dollars for a microcontroller and a little bit of wire and, and maybe some cheap sensors off, off eBay or AliExpress. So, like I said, if you don't like this type of video, let me know in the comments, let me know with thumbs, and uh, I'll start a, to tailor the channel more to what you guys are into, because I've received a lot of really good feedback uh, on the other videos, and I just wanna make sure that um, everyone's, you know, learning what they wanna learn on, the, on this. So, anyway, enough of me talking about that. Uh, let's get started. I'm gonna first show you the sensor that detects the garage door state uh, for this system to work. And that is this guy right here. This is a, basically it is a limit switch. A very cheap Chinese limit switch is the brains of the operation. It has a Cat5 wire hooked to the back of it, hooked to the two contacts, and basically when this is bridged, it or when this is pressed, it connects those two, it connects two of the Cat5 wires, the internal wires together. I'm only using one of the pairs of the wires in this Cat5. It's, uh, it is obviously a six pair wire, but I'm only using two wires and they're hooked up to this limit switch. So when the garage door uh, comes down this track, it actuates this uh, wooden lever, which flips up and presses the limit switch down to tell the microcontroller the door is open. So let's, uh, let's give that a quick little shot here so you can see that. So I'm gonna press the button on my garage door and we'll watch that happen. Boom. Okay. The other part of this system is contained within this little dollar store box that's on top of the garage door opener. In it is a Wemos D1 Mini, which is a, an ESP8266 microcontroller, very low cost, five or six bucks. And it is hooked up to a standard, I don't know if you can see that or not, let's see, a standard Arduino, standard Arduino relay board there. And that's the kind of relay board that you get in, you know, any, any Arduino starter kit or, uh, you know, off AliExpress or eBay. It's, it's very low cost. Um, set of relays. There's four relays on, on that board, but you really only need one for this application. It's just that that's the only one I had. So there's two wires you can see coming out of this. We have this wire, which is the the, the pair that's going back to the, uh, the sensor over there. And the other wire is dropping down into the actual uh, garage door opener. So if I open this up, we can see that there's a pair of Cat5 going into the two ports that the garage do that the standard button garage door opener connect to. So where that is connected is right there in the red and first red and white port. 
We also have a pair of the CAD5 wires running into the same port. So basically the way a garage door opener works is one of these ports is carrying a 24 volt signal and the other one is not. When those two ports are connected, the 24 volts flows from one port to the other and it triggers the garage door opening mechanism. So whether it flows through the button or flows through uh, my sensor that I made over there, that limit switch, really is irrelevant. As long as we connect those two ports up, you're going to get the garage door actuated. So it's really as simple as that to trigger a garage door opener. There's no need for, you know, a MyQ setup or, or, or anything like that in terms of, uh, in terms of like buying official parts. It's just a matter of connecting those two wires. So let's have a quick look at the software side of things here. Log in. So the garage door sensor is currently constantly sending a state message every two seconds to a logging server, to a syslog server that I have. And that's just uh, for my own troubleshooting to make sure it's still responding and whatnot as I've, uh, you know, refined the software over time. And it's also listening on an MQTT topic, which is slash control slash garage door. So no matter what message I send it, it's just going to connect those two wires for one second and it's going to reverse whatever state the garage door is in now. So if it's open, it'll close. If it's closed, it'll open. So let's send that an MQTT message. That. And we can see that it got it. And the garage door is closing. And even in the logging, you'll see, hey, it received an MQTT message and then the door closed. And by the same token, we'll send it that same message. Excuse my, there we go. Inject the message, and there we have the garage door opening again. And we can see that it received the message. It's still showing it's closed because it hasn't quite hit the sensor yet. And there it goes, hits the sensor, and now it's reporting as open. So that's really all I wanted to show you uh, for right now. Uh, we'll go and I'll make another video, and we'll get into the software and um, show you how this thing is programmed and the other features it has. And yeah. And if this is the type of video that you want to see on this channel, um, let me know, like I said, let me know in the comments. I really want to tailor it to what you guys are interested in and not just, you know, what I'm interested in. So let me know if this works for you. If it doesn't work for you, whatever. Thanks very much for coming out and have a good day.